Hi you guys, it's your girl Janana Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks and things that I do to preserve my straight hair in the summertime. Ever since I mentioned that I'm a straight hair natural and I wear my hair straight pretty much majority of the year, a lot of you guys have been asking me the question on how do you wear your hair straight in the summertime? What do you do with the humidity? Like, girl, how are you wearing a silk press in the summertime? Like, I decided to go ahead and sit down and film this video for you guys because like I said, this is my like most requested question. Like a lot of you guys wanna know the answer to this. So if you are ready to get into the tea, if you want to know how you can rock a silk press in the summertime, make sure you guys continue watching. All right, guys, so I'm currently rocking a silk press, as you guys can see. Um, this is about a four-day-old silk press. I flat ironed my hair on a Monday. Today's a Thursday, but by the time y'all see this video, it's gonna be Friday, so happy Friday, girl. My hair is still pretty fresh and smooth. If you wanna see like how I got these silky, sleek results, I do have a hair routine here on my channel. I will link that one right above. Recently, I transitioned from using my flat iron and I started using my Timo. So if you wanna see how I use that to straighten my hair, I will also have that one linked down below so you guys can see how your girl is rocking her hair and how I got silky smooth results. So if you guys wanna see that, I do have a video on all the products I use and all the tea grow, okay? The first two things, I do have my phone because I have the tips and things that I can think of that I do to like keep my hair straight in the summertime. So the first two are, I feel like the biggest things that contribute to me being able to wear my hair straight in the summertime. The first and most important thing, and I feel like a lot of people who wear their hair straight in the summertime and like their hair doesn't revert or doesn't like poof up as much. I feel like they don't really mention this. Like a lot of people just skip to the products, but you also have to realize that your hair has to be trained. So the first way that I'm able to wear my hair straight and like silky smooth in the summertime is because I am heat trained okay so if your hair is not used to being straightened like throughout the year if you only wear your hair straight like once or twice a year or every once in a while like maybe like I don't know once every two to three months like if you don't wear your hair straight often and you don't have like a set routine for example for me I usually wash and straighten my hair like do my silk press routine every two sometimes I can push it to three weeks but at least like every two weeks I am washing and silk pressing my hair. So with that being said, my hair is used to being straight. My hair is used to being in this style. So when summertime comes, my hair is not like super, it doesn't revert back to like being curly or poofy as fast as somebody who doesn't really wear their hair as straight. So I would say the biggest thing that contributes to me being able to wear my hair straight in the summertime is the fact that I'm heat trained. So my hair is already used to being straight throughout the year. So when the summertime comes, it's not that big of a difference for my hair, if that makes sense. The second thing that I feel like really contributes to me being able to wear my hair straight in the summertime is the fact that I don't live in a state that gets super hot and I don't live in a state that has like a lot of humidity. Like I know some of you guys live like down south in Georgia, like that Texas heat, like you guys live in places that are super duper hot. For me, I actually live closer to like the Oregon area. So my like summers are hot, but they're not like humid. So I can walk outside and there will be a breeze. So I feel like where I live also contributes to me being able to wear a silk press in the summertime because like I said, it's really not that hot. Now I will say I went to Texas twice, one summer and I think it was in 2021. And then I went recently this year to Texas twice. And the first time I went, I had a silk press and I was out there, you know, having the time of my life, girl. And I will say, I was really, really hot. Like, honestly, I was like, girl, I do not want to be rocking a silk press because I didn't have to like having like all my hair on my neck. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. I feel like if I lived in Texas or Georgia or like somewhere where it's like really hot, I don't know if I'll be able to rock a silk press in the summertime because it's just too much. Like I have a lot of hair already. So having all this hair on my neck and the heat, like, I don't know. But I'm saying, I'm mentioning Texas and me going there because when I was there, my hair still was straight, but it was definitely like starting to poof up a little bit. But my hair still did really well in the summertime. And I think it's really just because I was heat trained and my hair was used to being straight. But where I live, where I stay, it's not a lot of humidity. And I feel like that plays a big part in me being able to wear a nice silk press because sometimes even it's raining in the summertime where I live. Like 
the weather the summers here they're hot but they're not like super hot it's like a nice little breeze to it there's no humidity we don't really deal with like a lot of mosquitoes and stuff so honestly i'm really grateful that i live in a state where i don't have to deal with that um the second time going back to texas the second time that i went to texas it was actually kind of rainy but it was really humid outside and i had my hair in like these curls like i had some pink curls in my hair and my hair actually still did very well and honestly like i said i think that contributes to my hair being heat trained i'm just going to be completely honest with you i think because my hair is heat trained it's kind of used to kind of like being straight so it doesn't really revert back as fast but i won't lie that humidity mixed with the rainy weather you know if i sat out there long enough my hair might have gotten a little bit poofy but i don't think it would have reverted like completely back to curly hair so i think the second thing that plays a big part in you wearing a silk press in the summertime is where you live okay sometimes you just can't control it and you might not be able to rock a silk press because it's just too hot like who want to have all that hair and your straight hair on your neck and all that when it's just too hot outside so i think for me where i live is another thing that really you know helps me be able to wear a silk press in the summertime okay so the next thing that i want to mention i first started to become a straight hair natural even living in the state that i live in with it not being as humid and not as hot in the summer times i still even struggled at the beginning of my hair journey with my hair like reverting back or getting super poofy i remember the days when i was back in high school and i would straighten my hair and then i would have to go to the bus stop and it would be like raining outside or it'll just be like super hot like even during like the summertime like you know once school's starting to come out or like during that rainy season i remember like my hair poofing up a little bit and it used to irritate me so bad but i will say the next thing that really helped me especially towards the beginning of my journey was using anti-freeze products and like smoothening shampoos and conditioners i have one by dove that i really really like like i'm a huge fan of doves shampoos and conditioners so i would say try to use products like if you live in a state that's super humid or if you're in the beginning of like your straight hair natural journey or your heat train journey i would say please like stick to products that says anti-frizz smoothening sleek and shine like stick to stuff that says that because they're gonna help aid your hair in being like silky smooth so even now with my hair being heat trained i still use products that says anti-frizz um silky smooth or smoothening like i use even deep conditioning hair masks i just recently used one i think by palmers i tried it out recently it was a really good hair mask i like that one but um it was like a smoothening anti-frizz hair mask so do like deep conditioning treatments that gear towards smoothening and anti-frizz and also when you're straightening your hair the blow drying process is really important so try to get your hair as straight as possible when you're blow drying it so that way when you go through and flat on it you'll get the like the sleekest results ever i really encourage you guys to check out my silk press routine my hair routine like i said i'll have it linked because the tools and the products that i use really do contribute to having my silk press be silky smooth and laid so yeah make sure that you're using products like that also another one of my favorites i used to always use i don't use it as much anymore um it was called the john frida frizzy frizzies i think that's what it's called last time i checked it was in like a purple bottle i used to love that stuff especially when i was at the beginning of like my heat training journey i used to love that stuff like i would put that in my hair either before i blow dried my hair or after and it really helps to kind of weigh your hair down so that way when you go out it won't like your hair won't poof up or frizz up as much of course like not everything is going to be guaranteed but your products and the tools that you use can also help so make sure you're using all the anti-frizz all the smoothening straightening use all of those products that have those words on there because it's really 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 going to help you out especially during the summer months and honestly you guys last but not least there are some days where i do not feel like wearing my hair straight in the summertime because let's just be real sometimes it's just too hot okay so sometimes i'll do like a silk press like this like i'll initially start with my hair like this but i also tried to do a lot of like heatless styles so once this silk press gets old i might do like a braid out or i might do a twist out or i might do pin curls like i try to find different hairstyles to like make my silk press stretch i could also do a video on that like showing you guys the different hairstyles that i do like that are heatless um to show you guys how i stretch out my silk press but you know sometimes you might have to rock the bun you might have to rock the ponytail like 
I'm telling you, there's, I don't always feel like having all my hair on my neck. So when it comes to wearing a silk press in the summertime, you can press out your hair and wear it in a bun. You don't always have to wear your silk press straight down. You know, you could put it in a ponytail or when you go out, I used to do this too when I lived in Atlanta for like six months. Oh my gosh, it was so hot. But when I was straightening my hair, like when I would go outside, I would put my hair in a ponytail and then once I go into the building, I would like take my ponytail down and my hair like it won't be like on my neck because you know you start sweating back here and your hair might start reverting in the back. So just try to do different techniques and stuff like that. So when you go outside like try to put your hair in like a little bun or a little ponytail and then once you get into the AC, you know, or once you get into the building, you can let your hair down. Like honestly, if you want to rock a silk press in the summertime, there's just different things that you got to do. You might have to be outside, you know, rocking a little low ponytail just to get the hair off your neck. But when you go inside the building, you can let your hair down. Also, if you're not going anywhere, make sure you keep your hair wrapped because there's no reason why you should have your hair out if you're not really going nowhere. So if you're just lounging around in the house, keep your hair wrapped. That'll also keep your silk press nice and fresh. And just try to stay in areas that are super cool and nice with the AC. Like try to stay inside as much as possible. But if you got to go outside, either put your hair in a bun, put it in a ponytail, or try not to be outside for too long. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. I feel like for me, it was kind of hard for me to answer this question because I feel like there's nothing that I really do in particular for me to be able to wear my hair straight in the summertime. And I know that there's a lot of you guys who live in climates that are a lot more humid than me and that are a lot more hotter than me. And so for you ladies, I do feel for y'all when y'all wanna like rock a silk press in the summertime. But honestly, I'm telling you, the biggest thing is like just heat training your hair. The more your hair gets used to being trained, like being straightened, the easier it'll get every year. Like your hair will just be used to it. So in the summertime, it won't revert as much. So. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. I wasn't even going to make this video because I was like, I don't know if this is going to be helpful for anybody. Like, I don't, there's, I don't know. So hopefully the things that I mentioned in this video will help you guys on your journey. But yes, please let me know if you guys have any questions down below. I would be super excited to answer them for you guys. Let me know if I missed anything. And also, if you wear your hair straight in the summertime, especially if you live in like the hotter states, leave some tips down below for the other ladies and also let me know what you guys do as well so we can help each other out but yeah this is the end of today's video don't forget to follow me on all my social medias it'll be down below in the description box with the direct links thank you guys so freaking much for watching and of course as always i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys mm -hmm.